But I know you want this sports talk. So I know you come in here for sports talk with really, man. Hey, what else would you rather be? What else would you rather go than be here right now with me? Listen to me. Talk to sports. Talk to NBA. Talk to NFL. Talk about just things in general, the life in general. Where else would you rather go? Where else would you rather be? Hey, it's sports talk with really. Hey, you come here for one reason, one reason only. To get some gems, man. The Golden Gems Podcast. What's that? It's a podcast where you get your motivation. It's a podcast where you get consistent gems. It's a podcast where you get your inspiration and you sit back and just learn just a little bit. Just a little bit. <laughs> What's going on, my beautiful people? How we doing today, man? You here with another episode, man. You back on the Golden Gems Podcast, man. You know how we coming, man. Hey, how you doing? You blessed out here, man? You having a good day? You having a good morning? Yes, I hope you are. So welcome back, man. Today is Sports Talk with Relly, man. You already know how we coming, man. Hey. The NFL been crazy. Free agency is getting spicy out here. You feel me? Free agency is getting spicy, really spicy out here, man. Seeing a lot of trades happen. And also, you're seeing a lot of quarterbacks end up in places where you didn't really think they was going to end up. And you also seeing Lamar Jackson not get paid, which is unfortunate. But it is what it is. And then, of course, we're going to talk some NBA talk today, man, because, hey, what's going on with all these injuries and also playoffs around the corner? And the Lakers, they just took another L last night. Are they in a play-in tournament? What's going to happen? So thank you for always tuning in, man. Make sure you comment, subscribe, like, hit those show notes, show some love to your boy, and, hey, let's get right into it, man. So what's going on in the NBA? Not the NBA. Should we start with the NBA? Y'all want to hear NBA talk first? Man, F, F it. Nah, F it. Fuck it. We're going to go ahead and hit the NBA talk, man, first. So, what's going on with the NBA, man? Let me let me talk to you. Let me talk to you. Let's pull up the NBA standards. I was literally just looking at it. Hey, it's ridiculous out here. It is ridiculous with all these injuries and also with the playoffs around the corner, with all these teams around the same record in the West. It's going to get real interesting, and it's going to come down to the why, I feel like. So, hey, without further ado, let's go ahead and talk about these L.A. Leakers first, a.k.a. L.L. Lakers, L.A., L.L., whatever you want to call it, the L.A. Lakers. <laughs> but, man, hey, what's going on with the Lakers? I mean, right now they're sitting at 34 and 36. I have them at a 34 and 36 record. They just took an L to the Rockets last night, which was very unfortunate because I feel like at least I thought, not that I feel like, man, I thought, I thought wrong. I thought they was going to go ahead, you know, go on a nice little streak after Anthony Davis just put up 30 and 20, I think. Nah, he had 30 and 17 the other night. And, you know, man, I got hope for the Lakers. But not until Brown Brown come back. If Brown Brown do not come back, these L.A. Lakers aren't going anywhere. I guarantee. And right now. They the tenth seed, so yes, they are in the playoff tournament or in the play-in tournament, playoff tournament, same thing. But they are in the play-in tournament, sitting at the tenth seed. Ooh, I'm sorry about that, y'all. Hey, 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 you, hey, busy man. But yeah, so right now they sitting at the tenth seed, man. And then also you got OKC ninth, sitting in the ninth seed. Eight is Dallas. Seven is Minnesota. Six seed is Golden State, which is they're only 36 and 34 right now. Golden State only 36 and 34. What's going on with Golden State? What is going on with Golden State? Is it the fact that Draymond knocked out <laughs> that boy, the young pup? <sighs> is it because he knocked out my man, man? Is that still causing friction in the locker room? What do y'all think? Comment below, man. And then you got the Los Angeles Clippers sitting at 37 and 33. And the Lakers record is 34 and 36. So how many games are they out right now, y'all, from the fifth seat? They're literally only three games out. That's why I'm feeling like like all they got to do is go on the streak and win some games. They got 12 games left right now. The NBA, the playoffs are about to start. Why y'all think I'm covering? Why you think I'm talking about? The NBA playoffs are about to start right now. With the Lakers. At the 10th seed, they're in the play-in tournament right now. They just got to keep winning. 
the team that's behind them is Utah, and the team that's right on their heels also is New Orleans. But they just beat New Orleans, so they, of course, had to, had to, will have the tiebreaker because I think they beat them more times than they lost to them this season. So it's really getting interesting, man. Like, you got literally three teams in the West that's sitting at 35 and 35. OKC right now is 34 and 35. Just like Los Angeles, Los Angeles is 34 and 36. So with 12 games left, all these teams, even uh, the Clippers in Phoenix, Phoenix is just 37 and 32. Clippers are 37 and 33. The West has been all over the place this year. And then with the Clippers again, uh, Russell Westbrook, hey, no comment, man. I hope Russell, you know, go over there, do his thing. But, hey, hey, I don't know. They went on a five-game losing streak with him. But he just got there. It's not his fault. But then again, how much would he, he contribute, you know, to them making a playoff run? Do y'all think he going to play a lot? You think he going to get a lot of tick over there? I mean, we're going to see, man. The NBA is getting really spicy right now. Sitting at the top of the West is Denver, sitting at 46 and 23. They're likely to win a few more games, and then they'll clinch a playoff berth. I don't see them losing 12 straight games to – yeah. So Denver's cool. Sacramento is actually second right now. Memphis – Memphis is interesting because Memphis is 41 and 27, but they've been taking a couple losses since Ja, like a couple rough losses since Ja left, but they also then won a few nice games. So I've, I've been watching Memphis play without Ja. Hey, they still moving, man. They still looking like they not really going to compete in the West, obviously for nothing. Like they, I don't really see them getting out of the first or second round, if I'm being honest, without Ja, but. Then again, you know, now that Ja is, you know, off and taking care of himself and dealing with, you know, his demons and taking some personal time away, I feel like it's going to give Memphis a chance to grow without him. And then whenever he comes back, whether it's this year or really it's looking like it's going to be next year, I feel like they're going to really take that next step. And next year they're going to be some players, man. Next year they're going to really be a force to reckon with. Sacramento has really been playing great, sitting at that number two seed, man. And um, honestly – they got a couple of young guns and De'Aaron Fox and a couple of other boys over there to where they can really run up and down. I really don't see them competing, but I feel like this is a year that they take that next jump and I see them making it to the second round. I really don't see them making it to that uh, conference championship in the West. But, you know, it is what it is. I mean, I can be wrong, but most likely I'm always right, though. So, hey, if, you, if you've been watching Sports Talk with Relly, you know my predictions. You know how we coming, man. You already know. Comment below if you think I'm always right. Comment below if you think I'm wrong. Comment below if you think I should just stop talking about sports in general. Nah, I'm playing. I'm, I'm going to keep talking about sports regardless if you say so. Yeah. But I know you want this sports talk. So I know you come in here for sports talk with Relly, man. Hey, what else would you rather be? What else would you rather go than be here right now with me? Listen to me. Talk to sports. Talk to NBA. Talk to NFL. Talk about just things in general, the life in general. What else would you rather go? What else would you rather be? Hey. It's sports talk with really. Hey, you come here for one reason, one reason only. To get some gems, man. So I got gems for sports. I got gems for life. I got gems for every single thing that you would need in your life. So, hey, why not come back for more? Why not come here every day to get some gems? Hey, there's a lot of videos you can run through. Guarantee I got gems for you in each video. Guaranteed. So, hey, make sure you tune in there. Make sure you stand blessed. I appreciate you, baby. You appreciate me? Hey, regardless, let's get back into it. So, yeah, the West is kind of crazy right now. You still got Phoenix, fourth seed. Phoenix, uh, Kevin Durant is still out, so I'm not really putting no weight on Phoenix until he comes back. And if he comes back in the playoffs, then we can we're gonna be talking about Phoenix a lot more. But right now, man, if I had to pick two teams coming out the West, I will be going with Golden State because they've been there, done that. And also, a sleeper, a sleeper team. I'm going to go ahead and throw Phoenix in there. Golden State and Phoenix. I feel like if Kevin Durant gets healthy, it's going to be Golden State and Phoenix. Or if LeBron comes back, it's going to be Golden State and L.A. Hey, those are my predictions, man. Brian, Brian, we need you. Hey, hey, you see that jersey back there? Okay. Hey, he's a goat. He's a goat Laker, but you know, you can come and you can you can make it the top ten. Top ten, maybe top five, 
But you know, we got Jerry West, we got Magic, we got Kareem, we got Kobe, we got Shaq. Hey, Lakers, we didn't we didn't have some players now. So LeBron, you you top ten, man. You top ten if you can, you know, get us to the Western Conference Championship, man. You'll be a top ten Laker. I promise you. I'll put you in the category. I'll put you in there. <laughs> but anyway, man, let me stop playing, man. But yes, yeah, so that's how I was looking in the West. Lakers got 10, 12 games left. Let's see if they can finish it out. Now let's go ahead and touch on the East. Honestly, the East is kind of set in stone for me. Uh, my Bulls, they, you know, two games out from being, you know, at least the eighth seed. I don't feel like they're going to get anything higher than the eighth seed. They just got to go on a little streak, and they can at least be the eighth seed. Right now the Bulls are 31 and 37. You got Washington sitting at the 10th seed playing tournament, Toronto playing tournament. They're sitting at 32 and 37, which is Washington, Toronto sitting at 33 and 36. Um, yeah, I feel like, hey, at the end of the day, the East is spoken for. <laughs> you got the Bucks, who already clinched the playoff seed. They're 50 and 19 right now, leading with the best record in the NBA. So at the end of the day, man, hey, the Bucks, salute. Y'all my team to go in here win it all this year. So at the end of the day, you know, Boston, I don't care what you do. Philly, I don't care what you do. And, you know, I don't know, man. Like, at the end of the day, man, hey, I feel like in the East is going to be either Boston versus the Bucks or Philly versus the Bucks. You got, of course, Miami in there, Brooklyn, sixth seed, New York, fifth seed, Cleveland, fourth seed. You see how I'm talking about the East? Like, uh, no team is competing with the top three in the East, and that's Phoenix. I mean, it's Phoenix. <laughs> that's Philly. Excuse me, man. That's Philly, Boston, and then you got Milwaukee. No team's competing with them three, and I'm just keeping the buck with you. Yeah, because I don't really got no hitters, man. I'm just, you know, it is what it is. So, hey, East is irrelevant. Because we know who's coming out the East, the Bucks, or you know Philly or Boston, but the Bucks. So let's stop playing. So switching gears, man. Like, hey, I'm tired of talking about the NBA, man. I'm an NFL type guy. You feel me? So, hey, what's going on in the free agency? What's going on with Aaron Rodgers? What's going on with Aaron, man? Is Aaron Rodgers going to sign with the Jets? Is he going to agree to terms and say, hey? Green Bay trade me because Aaron Rodgers right now is speaking facts. He's saying that, hey, it's not me holding up the trade, even though we think it's you, Aaron. I'm not going to lie to you. I thought the media was right. I thought you was holding up. I thought you was just holding up the trade, you know, trying to be different, trying to say, if y'all don't get everything on my wish list, because Aaron Rodgers got a wish list now. His wish list got Alan Lazard on there, got Randall Cobb on there, got my guy Lewis on there. You also got OBJ, a.k.a. Odell Beckham Jr. <laughs> you got Odell on there, too. So, Aaron Rodgers, you waiting on this wish list, man? They already signed Alan Lazard. They might, you know, go ahead and bless you up and sign a few other places if you sign that dotted line. But Aaron Rodgers is saying it's not him holding up. It's the Packers. The Packers want more compensation from the Jets, but the Jets ain't going for it. And Aaron Rodgers said in so many words, the Packers told him that, hey, no, we don't need you to come back. He said also that he was 99 or not 99, 90 percent, 90 percent. Let me repeat that. He said that he was 90 percent sure or, you know, for retiring. Sure for same thing. He said it was for retiring 90 percent. He was at 90 percent before you went on this little darkness retreat. So I guess he was, you know, out in the country somewhere, lights out, no phone, no nothing, no technology. He had time to, you know, rejuvenate, rejuvenate, you feel me? And at that point, he was 90% that he was going to retire, but now he's back. I mean, I say if you had 90%, just walk out the door. If you were 90%, just trust your gut. You know, if you had 90% with anything in life, but. Aaron, I mean, hey, if you feel like you can come back and lead the Jets to the promised land, which you won't, just being honest, I mean, you know, hey, do what you got to do, big dog. Do what you got to do, man. Do what you got to do, my friend. Like, at the end of the day, Aaron, if you feel like you can do it, then do it. But me personally, 
that media in New York going to eat you up, big dog. The media in New York. You're going to be there for at least two seasons. Then I feel like after two seasons, you're going to retire. You're going to promise them at least two seasons. You got $60 million still on, <sighs> on there for you to come back to. $60 million. You're going to be the highest paid player in the NFL. You was not retiring, my dog. I'm just keeping in the buck with you. $60 million still left on the table to come back and just play two more seasons? Really not even two more seasons. You got $60 million this year for one season. But I feel like you'll come back and play two. $60 million for one season. You could have kept a buck with the Packers and said, yes, I'm going to come back and play, but you always keeping it in limbo. You're acting just like Brett Favre for being real. But, you know, that's cool. That's your business. That's your business, bit dog. So, regardless, man, I feel like, you know, with Aaron, you know, hey, if you want to go to the Jets, go to the Jets. But that's the they're going to eat you up, big dog, if you don't deliver. And I don't think you're going to deliver. So, get ready. To, hey, they finna feed you to the beast. New York, that media, they don't play. Just like LA media. They don't play either. So, hey, Aaron, I hope you're ready, man. So, getting off that topic, man, hey, what's going on with the Raiders? The Raiders just traded away their best tight end, but their best tight end also has been injury prone a little bit. Not a lot of bit, a little bit. So, I mean, with them trading him away, man, it's it's okay. They trade away Dan Raleigh. They still got Devontae Adams. They still might sign Adam Thielen, too. I'm hearing rumors. Adam Thielen might sign to the Raiders. But, you know, they got they got some boys, man. They got some boys. And right now, you know, as far as quarterbacks goes, I feel like them picking up Jimmy Garoppolo and him matching back up with – um, I cannot think of – why the – Josh McDaniels. I don't know why I drew a blank for right there real quick. But Jimmy Garoppolo matching back up with Josh McDaniels when they had like a little run. Obviously, he was a backup to Tom Brady when they uh, won two Super Bowls when the last time he was with the Patriots. So he was the backup for that for them. And, you know, I feel like it's a good pairing. I feel like Jimmy Garoppolo's ceiling is still not that high. I mean, at the end of the day, he did go to the Super Bowl, and he was a couple passes away in a drop interception away from winning it. So, I mean, hey, the sky's the limit for Jimmy G. That's only if he can stay healthy, though. I feel like that's the only thing that's handling Jimmy G, if he can stay healthy. So, I feel like with the Raiders letting Derek Carr go and letting him sign with the New Orleans Saints, which he's also the New Orleans Saints quarterback right now, and they also signed Jameis Winston back, you know, just in case he gets injured, just in case, you know, maybe they have a little QB competition. But if you paying Derek Carr a couple million, I really don't see no competition. Because Derek Carr signed for $37 million, $150 million contract, $100 million guaranteed. Or oh, actually, nah. Yeah, $100 million guaranteed. And then you got $60 million guaranteed uh, at signing. I'm not having him compete with Jameis Winston. You already paid him. That's why you signed him. You gave him $60 million at the point of signing. So, yeah, Saints, New Orleans. Hey, I feel sorry for you, New Orleans fans. But it's okay. That's not my business. Derek Carr, how many playoffs games has he won? One, maybe. I think it might be two, but I'm pretty sure it's one. Jimmy Garoppolo, he's playoff proven. I feel like the Raiders did get an upgrade in Jimmy Garoppolo, and then him and Josh McDaniels, who got a nice rapport. They got some offensive weapons over there. And, hey, you got Devontae Adams. So y'all going to be good. He's still in this prime. And I feel like, you know, the Raiders, if they get that defense together, they might be able to do a little something. But, you know, getting off of that, Jacoby Brissett, he signed with Washington. Uh, Lamar Jackson, still on the market. We're going to talk about that in a second. Hold on. You still got T Tyler Heineke signed with ATL. And, you know, ATL, man, with them not really taking a plunge and trying to go get a real quarterback, kind of making me mad. But, you know, it is what it is. You know, I'm just going to let Atlanta hopefully – Hopefully, this is my hope, that they go on a draft and actually draft a competent quarterback for the future. Because, I mean, I wanted them to take Lamar Jackson, if I'm being honest. I wanted Atlanta to take Lamar Jackson because it's Mike Vick 2.0. And I would just bring a whole bunch of pride and a whole bunch of grit. And that would get everybody invested in watching the Falcons again. So, I mean, yeah, I got a couple weapons. You know, you took the Gator, the Florida boy who is a tight end, who's a dominant weapon, who you still have in your squad. You took him last year. 
and he's been playing pretty well. He hasn't been injured. Um, I can't think of his name right now, honestly. But you know who I'm talking about. Um, they also did a couple signings with their defense. Atlanta did, and they signed Jesse Bates. I saw the Jesse Bates, man, Wake Forest project. Um, yeah, you know, you know, they signed him to a $60 million contract. He's like the fourth highest paid safety. So they making moves. Atlanta is definitely making moves, but I feel like they should have went the quarterback route. But who knows? They might try to go up in the draft and, you know, take Bryce Young, take a, uh, a, tr- a stroll from Ohio State. Um, it's going to be interesting. But Atlanta, go for Lamar. Lamar Jackson needs to get paid. I hit on this a lot last episode, so I'm not even going to hit on it that much this episode. But the Ravens, real quick, they offered him $133 million, not of guaranteed money. Just a contract for 133 million, and half of a guarantee, or a little bit over half of. If I'm read into it correctly, Lamar, you got to get up out of Baltimore, man. All you need is one team. You need one team to believe in you, believe in your ability, and I feel like, hey, that one team gonna come for you, and you're gonna be alright, my guy. You're gonna be just fine. So, what else is going on? Um. The NBA, man, you had a couple other major signings, but I know y'all only care about the wide receivers and quarterbacks at the end of the day. And as far as, you know, Saquon Barkley, he got franchise tag. Josh Jacobs from for the Raiders, he got franchise tag. Zeke Elliott, <laughs> hey, he just got released from the Cowboys, so we're going to see what Zeke lands. I mean, I feel like maybe he got a little bit left in the tank, but I feel like this year, he gonna come for vengeance. So uh, he probably gonna get signed to like a eight million dollar contract, maybe ten million max potentially. Say if you put incentives in there, I feel like somebody gonna sign him for a one year contract and it's gonna be a prove it deal, you know. And wherever he go, we are gonna see if he can have some success there. So Zeke, it's probably gonna be your biggest off season of your life because if you do well this season, come back next year, get paid, then you got a couple more seasons left in your belt before, hey, before you start, you know, and then you're gonna be out the door. But, you know, I got faith in Zeke. You know, I always liked him at Ohio State. Man was serious. He had a couple of nice runs with the Cowboys, but every season, his stats have been doing this. I still got faith in you, though, Zeke. We just keeping the buck. Hey, I keep it real over here. You know, I got faith in you. And then there's been a couple other major defensive signings, but honestly, nobody that y'all would really care about or care to know. So, if you want me to touch on that next episode, because free agency is still going on. If you want me to touch on all the free agent defensive players, I can do that. I've been focusing on the offensive players. Also, Juju McShuster, he just got his ring. Now he's in, um, you know, playing for my New England Patriots. Yes, they still my New England Patriots because I'll always be a New England fan. I'm not a Bucks fan no, no longer. I mean, I will support them because Tom Brady played there, but I'm a New England fan, and I'm also a Chicago Bears fan. So, hey, fight me if you want to fight. Let me know in the comments. Hey, I want all smoke. <laughs> but, hey, man, at the end of the day, this is going to conclude our sports talk because I don't want this episode to get that long and that lengthy. We hit on the NBA. Hopefully, you know, we can get guys healthy for the playoffs. We also touched on the NFL. What the hell is Aaron Rodgers going to do? Are the Packers going to let him sign? Are they going to get the proper compensation? Will Lamar Jackson finally get signed? To a long-term deal. Will somebody come snatch him up? Because he's technically not on the contract because he hasn't signed it. So I feel like he's going to hold out and wait for that contract. And Lamar, hey, do what you got to do, big dog. Do what you got to do. I believe that you should do that. I believe that you deserve to get paid. I believe that somebody will pay you because all it takes is one team. So, you know, hey, uh, also prayers and thoughts to John Morant. I appreciate you taking time to yourself, man, and stepping away from the limelight and just, hey, do what you got to do, big dog, and come back. They said the reports are saying that he's at a facility in Florida, you know, just whatever. I don't know what he's there for, but he's trying to get help. So that's all the job, Morant, man. Keep working on yourself. Keep grinding, man. And you're going to come back whenever you come back, and you're going to come back for vengeance. You was already the most improved player your third year in the league, man. And I feel like it's only going to get better. The sky's the limit for you, my guy. So, everybody, thank you for tuning in, man. Thank you for always coming back. This is the Golden Gems Podcast, man. Hey, thank you for always showing love, man. Much, much love to you. Much, much love to your family. And, hey, without further ado, we out, baby. Deuces. Stay blessed.